What's up you guys? So today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag. I was tagged to do this by Michaela over at Song of My Shelf. So you can go check out her channel if you would like to. She's a newer booktuber like me. So if you want to show a newer booktuber some love, I highly recommend going to her channel because she is a great person. So there's really no reason not to go check out her channel. The creator of this tag is Ariel Bissett. So I'm sure you've all heard of her. I will link both of their channels down below so you can easily check both of them out if you haven't. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? No, I don't start books and stop them very often. There are a couple books that I started like back in 2019 I believe that I just never got to. Both of which I plan on reading this month but those are The Lost Causes of Fleet Creek which I read a couple chapters of and Uglies which I also read a couple chapters of. I read both of these when I was about to get into a reading slump and so that's kind of when I tend to start a book and put it down. Hopefully I should be able to get to both of these by the end of the year. I'm planning on starting this in like a couple days so hopefully we should get to it because I want to read more. So the next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Not really, no. I do have the book that I'm currently reading that is going to kind of transition me into the rest of my reading for this year, which is A Reaper at the Gates, which is the third book in an Ember in the Ashes series. And Ember in the Ashes is about a girl who becomes a spy for a resistance movement, and she spies at this military academy where there is a guy who wants to break away from the empire that he serves. If that sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend checking out the series. I'm currently like a chapter into A Reaper at the Gate, so I'm like halfway through the series right now. The last book did just come out. I hope to get to that by the end of the year as well. So as far as autumnal, I don't really associate books with seasons as much. I just associate like the kind of reading that I want to do in a season because like winter is a more cozy season for me so I want to be a little bit more cozy whereas summer is a little bit more adventurous so I want to be a little bit more adventurous in my reading. So the next question is is there any release that you're still waiting for? There isn't one that I'm still waiting for. There are some that I just haven't gotten to yet which is A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes which is the Hunger Games prequel that came out this year. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've seen one singular person who I enjoy watching their content enjoy the book so I am curious to check it out to see if it's something that I would enjoy. I am very curious because it is a thicker book by Suzanne Collins and that's kind of what my issue with Mockingjay was is I felt like it should have just been thicker like we needed more content in that book so I'm not sure if it's something that I would enjoy or not. I also believe A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor came out this year and I just read An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green and I really enjoyed that book and I'm hopeful to get to A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by the end of the year that I can try to make like a little book review for both of those two books. And then A Sky Against the Storm, I believe is the title of the last book in An Ember in the Ashes. That's another new release that came out this year that I hope to get to. The next question is what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So I've said some of them but three books that I want to get to that I've already kind of listed is The Lost Clauses of Bleak Creek, Uglies, Sky Against the Storm. But hopefully if I can get through these three books I kind of want to start maybe All the Bright Places or Isla and Happy Ever After. These are both contemporary romances as far as I'm aware. But All the Bright Places I believe has a movie that goes along with it or it's got a movie adaptation or whatever so if I read this I would definitely check out the movie adaptation and let you guys know what I think about it. I kind of want to get to one of these at the end of the year once I finish up with all of the other books that I have planned but it just kind of depends on how much time I have because I've been doing a lot of reading but I don't have like infinite amount of time so we'll see what happens. So the next question is is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Doubtful. So I read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo this year which was fantastic. I read Six of Crows which was fantastic. I read The Scythe Trilogy which was fantastic. I have read a lot of fantastic books. I finished Throne of Glass this year, again another fantastic series. So this year definitely has some high contenders for me as far as best book of the year. So I don't think that there is one that I could read that would like top any of those, especially The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I think I think that one's going to wind up baking the cake as far as my favorite book of the year is concerned. I absolutely love that book. I thought it was so realistic. I thought that Evelyn's struggles were so realistic. I thought that she was just such a real character. She was so raw. She was so emotional. She really just inspired me honestly and I absolutely loved her and so I highly recommend that book if you haven't checked it out yet. Like it is a great book. So the last question is have you started making reading plans for 2021? Kind of. So I'm starting to look at some of the new releases for 2021 right now but my biggest goal for 2021 is to accomplish some of the books on my TBR. So specifically I want to get to The Dark Artifices and actually finish that series. I've read the first two books in the series. I have not read the last one yet and I would also like to read Chain of Gold because I just feel like I have not been in the Shadowhunter world for so long. I want to get back to it. I also would like to read the Children of Blood and Bone trilogy. I think the last book is set to come out in 2021 but I, I'm not confident on that so maybe I'll do some research and put it up on the screen for you. Maybe I won't. 
So other than that, there isn't really anything that I know of that is coming out. So other than that, I don't so far have any real reading plans for 2021 outside of what I've just said. I do want to try to finish up a lot of the books on my TBR, but we'll see what happens with that. My TBR is just ever growing and ever changing, so we'll see. But that was the last question of this tag. So if you want to do this tag and you haven't done it yet, I tag you, Pikachu. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Comment down below some of your answers to these questions, especially what are your most anticipated releases of 2021, because I want to know more books that are coming out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!